Yo guys, before we get into the video today, if you could go and check out my second channel, which is content like this. Three, two, one. Oh my god, it's coming in! It's coming in! So if you do like that content, then make sure to go and subscribe to it. I've got future videos coming out of it. Some new stuff, which is kind of different. I haven't really done anything like that before, especially like the previous video. So it's going to get a bit more crazy and a bit more in-depth and a bit more of you being involved at the same time. So if you like it, leave a like, subscribe to it, and turn on post notifications. But apart from that, we'll get straight into the video. Yeah, guys, what is going on? And welcome back to our Rainbow Six Siege video. And today, as you've seen by our title, this is not a glitch. However, this is a video about the future patch notes, which Rainbow Six Siege are trying trying to do. So if that's here, we're basically going to go into the Ubisoft website and explain and kind of just go in what they're thinking the actual kind of future patch notes need to be. So what I've going to do is go over to top issues and community concerns. So first of all, on here, we have got hacking, cheating and lobby freezing. A lot of DDoSing on consoles, obviously that's just kind of like the same from like lobby freezing stuff like that. And again, a lot of hacking and cheating. But you know what, that's always going to be a normal kind of actual kind of patch note within the game. So we're just going to be kind of skipping it because it always does the same thing. Now, the next bit is about increased ranked and champion rank requirements. Now, if you didn't know, they're going to be actually implementing this on the new season, which I think is really good. So they're just increasing the rank so there's less smurfs when it does come to it. You're going to have to level up and a lot less people are going to be smurfing because it's just going to take ages in like casuals and unranked to get to that level of TB and 50. And it's just really annoying. They're also doing the whole MMR thing. So you can't play with someone who's got more than a thousand MMR less than you or more than you, which again makes the game fair, you can't be carried, and it's all around the same skill level. They're also doing a daily level XP cap within PvE, so again that's good, so people obviously try and find ways of obviously literally just AFK getting XP, well they're stopping that so you can't rank up quickly, and that also does defeat the idea of smurfs, which I think is really good within Rainbow Six Siege, because over the years there's been tons of smurfs, you've become against a gold when really like a diamond or a champion, and it's just annoying. Now, again, they've got a lot of bugs and issues in coming to the game, like unintended abandoned sections bug, which is literally, you'll be going to a game, you quit out of the game, and you get banned for those minutes, and you've done nothing wrong. You also get penalized for your actual kind of rank, so you lose something rank, and you've literally just quit a game when you haven't even got into it yet, so you're literally just in the waiting kind of lobby area, and you are get an abandoned section, so they need to start out quickly, because people are just going to get frustrated and not carry on playing your game. But, to be fair, I'm still surprised that Rome Six Siege is on its fifth year. Now the next one is really annoying for me as well, is incomplete teams at the start of ranked games bug. Now if you don't understand what that means, it's that you go into a ranked game and your team isn't complete at all, so you've got a player missing within your actual game. And also sorry if you can hear any banging right now, that is my neighbour, I can't control him, so it's just a bit annoying. But still, come back onto the topic, literally, having incomplete teams when it comes into ranked is so annoying, because at the start of the game, it just makes it a massive disadvantage against you, like, they've got an extra player, it's an extra player you have to kill, it's just not fair, and to be fair, Rainbow Six Siege do need to sort that out quickly. Now a lot of these kind of issues which I'm going across don't involve any about the glitches like the whole clash glitch which they did patch but they kind of need to just find a way actually how to patch it fully because I know obviously I got the video out there about it all actually happening but they need to find a way to stop her actually getting these glitches because it seems to be her being the only operator which is getting the glitch which I don't understand at all. So really that is going to be Rainbow Six Siege's problem like they've just got to go and sort of these glitches, stop them happening and just find better ways to actually ban people because the way they're doing it right now isn't the best like there is ways of getting banned but to be fair what they're actually doing and the seriousness of the bans just aren't actually like capable at all because if you ban someone they can just make another account straight away but they need to like ban them for even like the minor stuff so if you do use the clash glitch which I know I did use but I didn't use it in an online game. If it's used an online game, they need to like ban them for like 30 days, something like that, just like a temporary ban, just to warn them. So 30 days is a long time while not playing that game on your account. So yeah, that is just my opinion on it. If you think it should be longer, then let me know down in the comment section. But yeah, I think I'm just going to end it there quickly. Nice short video for today. I'm struggling with content recently because there's not been many glitches in Rainbow Six Siege. So I thought I'd make this video. If you did enjoy it, then leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and also go and check out the second channel because that is going to be my kind of main focus right now while doing this channel. Obviously, while I'm in lockdown, there's nothing much else I can do. So I'm just putting all my actual time into YouTube. So if you did enjoy this content, then leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and apart from that, until next time, see ya.